Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. We want to remind you, the show continues 24-7 at priceofbusiness.com, where lots of great news out there about our upcoming uh, nationally tele- televised uh, business show that uh, begins on January 3rd of next year, weekly, on the Biz TV Network. Make sure you check that out. Chris Kidd, he is a regular on this program. He's with Chris Kidd Enterprise Enterprises. That's Kidd, K-I-D-D, and the website, chriskid.com. Chris, you know, we talk, you know, first of all, 90% of the time, which is awesome, we talk to people that are, are people who have, have post-sports uh, careers or we talk about careers in entertainment. We have some really interesting conversation about money as it relates to entertainment and sports. But uh, we don't get that deep into what you do to help individuals really enjoy the life that uh, professional athletes, uh, you know, get to live after their careers and, and entertainers get to live with the incomes they actually have just by living differently. And that's really uh, kind of the heart of your business. Yeah, I've uh, really got a, a passion for, for helping people solve financial problems and really to, you know, to take a, uh, a line from Dave Ramsey to create financial peace. Um, yeah, I really want to just, you know, resolve those issues because it really boils down to, I don't like seeing broken homes and, uh, what it does to kids. That's really where all this came from. And I figured, well, if I can help solve some financial problems and create a little more peace there, a little less stress, then I'll be able to, to probably save a lot of families. Cause one of the number one things that comes up in, uh, divorce, uh, suits and stuff is financial difficulties and and number it, one yeah it's number one and it's probably not this number one it's probably close to if not more than 50 percent of uh divorces relate in one way or another to money yeah it's it's actually um actually higher than 50 percent. so yeah. i'm trying to remember the the exact figure and i don't want to just pull one up <laughs> you know off the off the cuff but uh, it, is it is over fifty percent. It's it's, it's huge. huge, and even even uh, a lot of people will say that it's, well, it's, it's infidelity. That's the number one reason. Well, the infidelity a lot of times is created because of some of the the issues at home financially as well. Yes, I agree with that. Yeah, let me tell you, money is a form of infidelity. Yeah, and it's uh, one thing that all the I've dealt with so many people, and one thing that. Uh, Certainly on the, the personal finance side that I'll always have to, to come back to is uh, if you are married or you're a couple or, you know, you're planning on getting married, you're on the same team. And a lot of people will play games where they try to hide stuff from their spouse. Um, you know, they will run up credit cards that their spouse doesn't know. They'll go spend money uh, like crazy. And then, you know, maybe somebody will find out later. It's a, a financial infidelity, uh, so to speak. But um, one of the first things that I do is say, you know, we gotta, you gotta get on the same page because you're, you know, you're, you're a team and, you know, you can't have one person. Usually you have one that's a saver and one that's a spender. Um, you have to kind of find a, a happy medium in there because either, in fact, I had this conversation, uh, just this week, either you can get somebody to follow the same goals and, you know, to, to get on your side and become a saver if they're a spender or you find something in the middle where you can both agree on and say, okay, well, I'm going to maybe lower my uh, goal and not do something that's quite so ambitious and uh, have to be so tight and we'll enjoy a little bit of it at the same time. But at the, you know, on the other hand, the one who may be a, a spin freak, um, they have to get a handle on that as well. Otherwise, they'll go around and around and get nowhere. Yeah, and it'll be like on a hamster wheel. They will get nowhere. Well, let's talk about the three areas, though, that you help uh, individuals take their, their finances to the next level. And what I understand, you're involved in financial coaching, which is what I, I know you most for, you know, as a financial coaching work, uh, investing, and in entrepreneurship. So uh, those are the three broad categories, right, that you primarily work in. Yeah, and really, I, I kind of call it, uh, you know, your your financial pie Um you know, the first one we touched on is the personal finance side is, you know, being able to to handle money and to think of it the right way and, and use money as a tool to to achieve the goals that you want to achieve in life. So, uh, you know, to, to get a handle on that, to get out of debt, um, you know, repairing credit, things like that. Um, 
and then the investment side. So the the P of the pie of the financial pie stands for personal finance, and the the I is the investment side. Um, a lot of my clients that I deal with, um, in fact, probably the majority of them are on this area because there's so many who certainly uh, in 2008 I, I had a, a lot of clients come to me because people start understanding when things start falling apart. They don't know they don't really know what their money's doing. And they just have it somewhere that, you know, they, they can't tell you what it's invested in, what kind of value is on it or anything like that. And I remember back in uh, when I was in college, when the, the whole dot com thing came out. And uh, fortunately, I had a mentor who was teaching me at this time about some of this stuff. And I was able to, one, make a lot of money during this time, but also avoid uh, the big explosion, uh, the, the dot com uh, mm -hmm. bubble. But there were people that I knew that took out like thirty, forty thousand dollars on credit cards to go buy Yahoo stock that just plummeted uh, shortly after they bought it, and I mean, it, I got sick for them. So uh, one thing that I do on the investment side is I teach people how to understand, you know, look for value, how to identify things that are really just a risky type situation, things you should walk away from, uh, things that could very likely be a scam. Uh, and then other things that may be a really good deal. Um, that are neglected for whatever reason by others. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I've uh, dealt with a, a little bit of real estate. I don't handle as much of that, but um, I actually, you know, I like the, the cash flow, the, the passive income out of that and uh, doing that type of investing. I, I haven't uh, done any work on, you know, flipping and stuff like that. But uh, as far as uh, using real estate as, as a uh, cash flow type situation that's that's something that I've uh, helped with a little bit and uh, another big area is is dealing with options and in fact I've got uh, some special options coaching stuff that I'm going to be doing at the first of the year and one thing that a lot of people say is they get freaked out when they hear about options because they've either heard you can make a lot of money fast or lose a lot fast mm -hmm. which Seems is very true speculative and it really comes out of the person who's doing it right Absolutely. It's uh you know it's just like using guns. I mean we've had, you know, stuff this week that happened uh with guns where, you know, the guns were bad. Um, you know, the gun wasn't bad, the person using it was bad and they did bad things with it. Mm -hmm. Um but there's also people who did good things with their guns and they, you know, tried to you know, they put a they stopped those people with their guns and yeah. they used their guns in a good way. So it's it's the same type of situation. It's how it's used and a lot of people they will find out about something without really getting educated on it and really understanding exactly what they're doing, and they'll go out and use them and you know use it to their financial destruction versus being able to use it for you know for good for you know multiplying uh, their investments and or the protecting third, them. Third piece of the pie, and the third area is the entrepreneurship. Uh, that's one area I'm really passionate about because I think everybody needs their own business whether they have a business already that they're just trying to grow and, uh, you know, find a way to, to not be a slave to their business. Um, because that's, that was, uh, one thing that I learned early on is I wanted to have freedom, um, not just money. So, uh, a lot of people will create a business that may do really well, but they become a slave to it. And I decided a long time ago that whatever, any businesses that I ran, any investments that I did, whatever I was doing, I would not be a slave to uh, my business. So I teach them how to set stuff up that way, uh, you know, how to have a business and a life. Um, Big on systems and automation. Yeah, and things like absolutely. That. Um, and then, you know, different ways of hiring, uh, even outsourcing stuff like that we've discussed before. Yeah, I'm a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a, a lot about leverage. And then uh, also if somebody who doesn't have a business and a lot of times somebody will come to me and say, well, I would like to, but I, I really don't know how to do this or go about getting started. Uh, I teach them how to turn their passion into an income stream and that can be as big or small as they want. Real quickly about how you do your services. My understanding, it ranges from one day, whole day consultations to monthly meetings to, you know, kind of give us a panoramic overview of how you deliver services. Um, well, yeah, multiple ways. Uh, one, there's uh, like a one day, uh, like a speaking engagement or something where I'll, you know, go speak to uh, a big group of people and uh, do training that way, uh, conferences. 
Um, there's one-on-one uh, coaching that I'll do. Uh, sometimes it just it just takes one or two uh, sessions with somebody, and that's all that they need. Other times it's uh, like a monthly type situation where we set up, um, you know, a, a structure that's going to work with them and you know fit their goals. A lot of times it is uh, kind of conducive to um, what habits need to be changed because a lot of it is really just accountability and being able to change habits. Mm-hmm. Chris Kidd, he's with Chris Kidd Enterprises. Chris Kidd, K I D D dot com. That's Chris Kidd, K I D D dot com. Good to see you, buddy. Good to be back, and uh, we'll see you guys uh, next week, I guess. And we got some good ones coming up. Yeah, absolutely. All right, when we come back, more for you right here on the Price of Business. <laughs> 